James, what was the wash up from the from the derby? It was, it was from a neutral's point of view, it was a bit of a, a disappointing game. How have you guys set? Yeah, obviously um, a little bit disappointed. Um, you know, looking at the, the stats and stuff like that, we uh, were really on top of them, had a lot of the ball possession. So um, a little bit disappointed not to come away with uh, with the three points. But, you know, it is the first game of the season and you need a bit of momentum to get going. How did you find as well, personally, playing your, your first game and sort of picking up the tempo? Yeah, obviously, uh, you know, it was... Uh, it was a great first first game, you know, in terms of uh, obviously a derby and, and the, you know, the amount of fans that was there. Um, obviously, still need to work on a little bit of match fitness, but um, you know, uh, I think I started quite well. Were you pleasantly surprised? Yeah, with how you went considering. Expansion yeah, I, d- I didn't. I didn't uh, realize I was going to last that long. You know, I could start to feel. I knew I was going to, you know, I wouldn't last the full 90 minutes, but um, you know, that's what you have to fight through the the barrier pain a bit, and um, yeah, just looking forward to getting on again uh, Friday. Is it nice that it seems like now you're sort of touch wood destined for a bit of consistent sort of sort of time on the park? It's been a frustrating couple of years. But yeah, I mean, that's that's one of the main reasons why coming back here, you know, speaking to Ange, obviously, you know, my intention to, to, to play 90 minutes week in, week out. Obviously, it's going to take a, a little bit of time to get my match fitness up, but, um, you know, that's what I'm here to do. What do you make of Adelaide? In terms of the team? Yeah. I mean, we played a friendly against them. They're looking, they're looking, uh, looking good. Um, obviously, they had a, a good win on the on the weekend, but um, you know, uh, I think um, there's no no doubt that we have the players and, and the team and, and the staff to to do really well this season. I was going to say, speaking of Ange, a lot of talk obviously about the, the soccer roost job. A lot of people believe he's the right man. Do you think that's the case? Yeah, obviously, uh, you know, I think he's the right man. Do we want him to go? Um, you know, um, yes and no. Um, you know, we are, he hasn't spoken um, about it to us, and you know, we we hear it on the, on the TV and on the news and stuff like that as well. So, um, you know, we'll have to wait and see what happens with that, I guess. How do you think the team will go if he does get chosen for the gig? Yeah, obviously, um, you know, uh, the the background staff, you know, they all want to play play the same way, and and um, you know, Andrew's cemented that in in the mentality at, at Melbourne Victory. So um, obviously, you know, he's, he's a very, very good coach and he's going to be missed if he goes. But, um, you know, I'm sure someone will, will step in and, and do a good job as well. There's been a lot of discussion about the soccer is obviously the last few days. You were starting to become a regular a few years ago uh, and haven't played, obviously, for a couple of years now. Is With sort of the winds of change, it seems like going to sweep through. Does it give you sort of more motivation to really have a good year this year to make sure you're on the plane in Brazil? Yeah, I guess it does. And in the back of my mind, that's a, a reason why I came back here as well. But first and foremost, for me, it's always been about club football. So if I'm getting on the pitch and playing regularly and doing my thing, then I'm sure that's going to be an option. Has anything changed from your perspective, given you know the, the, the events of the last couple of days? I mean, at the end of the day, you never know what's going to happen. If you can be be the best player and, and, and the coach doesn't like you and he doesn't pick you. And, um, you know, in a case, I did really well at Turk and I wasn't getting selected. Um, so, you know, I don't know what's going to happen next. But as I said, if I'm doing what I can do on the, on the pitch with my club, then I'm, I'm sure that... Uh, Hopefully, you know, all things go well with the national team as well. So individually, he might be a little bit conflicted. You probably don't want Ange to leave here, but he obviously likes you, so he might pick him for the soccer race. Yeah, I mean, as I said, you know, uh, either way, whatever happens, um, obviously he's a great coach and, and he's going to be missed uh, if he goes. If he stays, fantastic as well. And what did you make of Lucas Neal's comments about the, the youngsters coming through and questioning Honestly, my, I, 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 I didn't even... I don't know what he said yet, so I'll, I'll go after and have a look. You're saying Ant hasn't really spoken to the group about Socorro's position. Have the players amongst themselves said anything about if he goes? No, obviously we, we you know, we hear um, or we've heard is what's been happening in the in the news and, and stuff like that. So um, I know as much as you pretty much and no one said anything. So um, as I said, um, you know, we have to wait and see what happens. So they're not just talking about Lucas's quotes directly, but like... <laughs> What's because he's so he spoke about the desire and the hunger of the young okay. boys to play for the national team. Mm-hmm. What what does it mean to you to play for the soccer? Oh, obviously it's everything. You know, uh, you ask every footballer um, about playing. You know, with their national team playing in the World Cup, every single player will say, you know, it's 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 the biggest thing in football. So obviously everyone wants to do it. Um, and you have to have desire and, and hunger to, to do that. Um, as I said, I don't know the comments he made, but um, yeah, I have to I have to go and watch it now.